that developed together with the county public health and ourselves and environment, um, a chemical that is human friendly. Now, I see Professor Odalo here, I think he's in the chemistry department at the university. I will give you the opportunity to tell us how safe our people are going to be and the method that we've used to be able to come up with the right chemical. Professor Odalo, if you can come close so that we show everybody that this really is just about partnership. Mimi, Suleiman, University and the other institutions, Red Cross, Kenya National of Commerce, Kenya National Chambers of Commerce and other institutions. So the Professor Odalo, my friend. Okay, uh, thank you so much. You don't have to touch it. Thank you so much, His Excellency, uh, Asan Joe. So as uh, already been said, uh, Tech University of Mombasa as partnership with the, the county government, country 01. And this kind of partnership, uh, His Excellency, is through the EPIC uh, uh, framework. Remember recently, you did uh, sponsor us to go to South Africa, Durban, mm -hmm. to announce this kind of collaboration. So my role today is to assure our community, people of Mombasa, that the kind of reagent that we have used today as a disinfectant, which we are going to spray ourselves with, and the government has already gone through it, is a safe reagent. We have prepared it using locally available materials in our laboratory, which is uh, well under good quality assurance mechanism. And uh, with me, I have a, my quality assurance person, uh, Kennedy Agoy, who helped me work to uh, have this formulation. So this formulation is quite safe, His Excellency, the governor, and uh, it meets the WHO uh, standards, which can even be used as food item. So for this reason, I want to assure the, the public that it's a formulation that will be able to help us confront uh, this virus. It is antimicrobial as well as a vaticidal agent. So His Excellency, we are safe. Asante. So, so that we make it known to everybody, he ni a kwanza. Na he ni majaribio or piloting. He kifanikiwa we shall announce that nobody shall board the ferry bila kupitia hi. Lakini we will be at a point where we now supply uh, adequate equipment and adequate um, chemical to be able to ensure that both sides of the ferry, whether you are on, in the south or here, when you've crossed the other side, Amahapa, you will have to go through this equipment, this tunnel, for you to be able to be disinfected. The other thing that I want to announce, the county government felt that it was necessary to be able, even for purposes of statistics, to be able to install an equipment that will tell us temperature watu na kuangale the basics that anybody that crosses the ferry tunaweza kuangalia sura yake capture it on our CCTV that will be able to read temperature. You know, and there was a case yesterday, Suleiman, let me tell you, when we were putting it up because we imported it from China, already we could see so many people crossing that had over 40 degrees temperature. Really? Jana, hapa, tuliona kamba kuna watu wanavuka wengine wako na 40 degrees temperature. It worries us. So we want to be able to try and deploy technology where we think it can work. We identify your face. And when we come to you, we tell you to monitor temperature. Please understand us that we are only doing this for the purposes of keeping you and the larger population safe. To Mekubaliana. So after doing this, and we have an undertaking, Suleiman will say it for himself, that there shall be many more of these. I've also heard other players have come into play. In Mimeona, uh, the Department of Health, by the way, has already started also to try and come up with some. We had already talked to two universities, though Suleiman was is the first. We shall complement each other. Zijia nyingi. Pale ni Mimeona, Abdul Samad has announced also is going to contribute a few. We'll put them in other places. Like, like Congo and, and these other uh, highly populated, populated areas. But as to the ferry, here it is. Look at it. Try it. Don't be scared. 
I know our tradition. Sometimes we here tunakasumba mingi. Oh, tunapoka dawa. Oh, tunapoka maji. My friend, this time tunataka kila aina ya kitu kinachotumika kupigana na COVID kitumike. Tumekubaliana hapa hapo? Sivyo? So allow me to invite Mishi maybe few remarks. No, I'm off. Just appreciation. Go ahead. That's it. Mimi nataka tu kutoa shukrani zangu za dhati kwa His Excellency the Governor Ali Hassan Jo kupitia Hassan Jo Foundation na pia kupitia Mombasa County na pia nimshukuru Mheshimiwa Shabal kupitia Shabal Foundation na wale partners wengine naona kuna Kenya Chamber of Commerce, Red Cross na yale mashirika mengine kwa sababu ya kifaa hichi ambacho kiko hapa kupambana na ugonjwa wa corona virus. Na mimi ni seme na kushukuru sana gavana kwa sababu umeweka msisitizo sana katika kivuko hichi cha likoni. Kwa sababu unajua hapa ndio maelfu na maelfu ya wananchi wako wanapitia. Kwa hivyo mimi I'm not taking this for granted. You have really put your focus for the Likoni channel. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the other donors. Na najua hata katika mikakati yako ambao unapanga ya mambo ya chakula, you are investing a lot for Likoni residents kwa sababu tunajua watu wa likoni wengi ni maskini wengi wako katika hali ya jua kali na wengi wana matatizo mengi kwa sababu ajira zao it is across the ferry kwa hivyo nataka nishukuru sana pia ni kushukuru vile ume streamline na umeongea sana na watu wa security kuhusiana na vile wataweza kudili na wananchi katika mambo ya kafyu kufanya a lot of PR na kuwa binadamu na ni kweli tangu vile umeanza kuzungumzia mambo haya tumeanza kuona afueni kwa hivyo gavana sisi tunakuombea Mwenyezi Mungu sana together with the partners today we have one tomorrow we, have, we want to have ten of them tupate upande huu na tupate to the other challenge na sote kwa pamoja let us come together the little you have just give it siri ya kupata ni kutoa kama wewe ni mkono gamu pia huwezi kupata kwa hivyo whatever you have and you think that you can contribute to the Mombasa County kit in the fight of coronavirus you are most welcome gavana asante sana uko juu sana we lead and others they follow keep it up i think asante tofik Uh, thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, all I wanted to say was that uh, this is a wonderful idea, and it's a prototype, as you can see. It has three turnstiles, but the number of people who cross require more than three turnstiles. I noticed here we have a beautiful ten turnstile crossing, but there are some damages that were created. I came here a week ago, and I was told that they're waiting for the insurance assessment to come and do the assessment. But I've assessed it myself, and I don't think it'll cost more than 100,000. I think the county government can come in and just go ahead with it. Nothing is broken. And uh, the second phase, because it's a prototype, we can just cover the two sides, and we can use the 10 turnstiles. That is my appeal. And the cameras that we are installing require such a shade for it to take effect, because they cannot uh, detect in such a short distance. You need at least a minimum of three distance and the width of what we have here. I also want to request that this tent, one of them is brought and is extended this way uh, so that the, the temperature from the sun can go down and we actually get the temperature of the human being when he's passing through. And that is what I want to request the, the, the MD for Kenya Ferry to do. That is all I have to say. Thank you. So it is, uh, you know, because we are here with the county commissioner and we are the co-chair of the emergency response committee, there is no complication. Here when we want to make a decision, we make it first and then ensure that implementation is as expedited as it is possible. So we direct, we direct that the county government will put in money to do that uh, turnstile that you want to put up and they will speak to the man we do more tents coming this way so that the camera the thermal camera we've installed there can be useful so bona md tutafanya hiyo eh wataleta pesa hawa tutengeneze hii alafu insurance tasukumana nao baadaye mambo yote sahihi ni baadaye kwanza ni covid 19 sivyo mheshimiwa senator maybe brief remarks before ah asante sana yangu pia ni kutoa shukurani za dhati kwa governor uh, mheshimiwa Suleiman Shabal uh, county commissioner na management ya Kenya Ferry Kenya Red Cross Kenya National Chamber of Commerce na wengine wote ambao walichangia kuleta mradi huu wa uh, sanitization 
Kwa hakika tumeona kwamba mambo yanabadilika. Tulikuwa tukizungumzia huduma za feri ziboreshwe na tumeona sasa zimeboreshwa kwa sababu ya ugonjwa wa corona. Lakini hiyo sio mwisho, ni mwanzo tu kwamba tutataka huduma ziboreshwe zaidi. Na ningependa labda MD azungumzie ile feri nyingine mpya itakuja lini kwa sababu kuna msongamano bado wa watu kuvuka. Wengine wanabidi watoke nyumbani asubuhi mapema zaidi wakati kafio haijakwisha. Kwa hivyo tu kuondoa msongamano ni kuwa na feri nyingi zaidi ili watu waweze kutembea ama waweze kuvuka bila matatizo yote. Na washukuru nyote na waziri Taufiki pia kwa kazi yao kubwa ambayo wamefanya kuhakikisha kwamba hali inaboreka hapa katika eneo la feri. Asante. Asante. Suleiman maybe. Go ahead. Your Excellency Governor Hassan Ali Joho, Bwana County Commissioner, Senator wetu Mohamed Faki, Mheshimiwa Mishi Mboko, uh, wageni wote waheshimiwa mabibi na bwana Mjambo. Hii project tuliona kwenye internet. Na nikaona inatumiwa Taki, inatumiwa Germany, inatumiwa China, inatumiwa Dubai, nikamtumia picha Mheshimiwa Governor nikamwambia na sisi lazima tufanye kama hii. Akanipa amri akasema tuifanye as soon as possible. Na akachangia pesa na tukaleta ma engineers wanaitwa Evolution Energy na Chameleon Solutions. Kwa siku mbili tukaijenga hii kitu. Tukaitest, tukaileta hapa. Waziri mtendakazi hapa kasimamia, watu wa feri wakasimamia ndugu yangu Mahmud alikuwa hapa pia MD wa feri chairman wa Chamber of Commerce tukaitest tukaona hii kitu inafaa na kwa sasa watu 12 wanaweza kupita hapa kwa kila dakika tukileta ile protocol ya sawa sawa watu 500 watapita kila dakika kumi governor hii solution yote hapa tutaweza kusaidia wananchi na sisi sote lazima tufahamu kitu kimoja hivi sasa sisi sote tuko vitani lazima tupambane na coronavirus na hawa walioko kwenye front line madaktari wetu manas wetu hawa vijana wa red cross wote wanastahili kuheshimiwa na kushukuriwa lakini zaidi ya hiyo lazima tuwapatie vifaa ambavyo vitawa protect vitawalinda wao pia na wewe governor kama si wewe Mombasa haingekuwa ya kwanza kufanya hii kitu ni kweli au kweli bwana eh? kama kutoa amri hii ifanyike siku mbili labda ingechukua mwezi lakini hiyo ndio uongozi so tutafanya kazi pamoja na hii mambo ya kupambana na, na corona tutasaidia madaktari wetu governor ameniambia lazima tulete ventilators sisi tutaleta nne ziko njiani tutaleta zile PPP za kusaidia madaktari tutaleta mask zaidi sisi sote tuna wajib kusaidiana na usiseme ati lazima mimi ndio tajiri ndio nisaidie. Hapana. Kama unaweza kutoa sanitizer, toa sanitizer. Kama unaweza kutoa mask, toa mask. Kama unashindwa msaidie jirani yako na kilo mbili za ugali manake wakati ni mgumu huu. Si ni kweli? Na kweli sisi tuko kwenye difficult times. Wakati mgumu, hali ya maisha magumu. Lakini sisi waislamu tunaambiwa inna ma'a usri Yusra baada ya dhiki inakuja faraja. Na Wakristo wanasema if God is for us who can be against us. So tushikane pamoja na Mwenyezi Mungu atatusaidia na tutaendelea. Governor mimi na kupromise tutaleta nyingi zaidi hizi. Si moja, si mbili, si tatu tutaleta Mombasa nzima tuweke kila mahali. Tushikane na business community ili wananchi wetu pia wafaidike. Governor you are leading the way. I compliment you. Kenya nzima sasa is watching yes. na Mombasa is leading at the forefront yes. ya hii vita against coronavirus. Yes. Kusema na kutenda. Yes. Asanteni sana Mungu abariki nyote governor. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Suleiman. County Commissioner alafu tutafunga. Kuna ujumbe hasa wa usalama ya watu walikoni ambaye we are getting concerned. At majority of us bado tunangangana kukubali kwamba lazima tuwe majumbani jioni. County Commissioner please. Asante. Kwanza nashukuru Suleiman Shabal na Mheshimiwa Jo kwa kutoa donation ya hii mashine ya kufanya disinfection ya watu. Hiyo tunashukuru sana. 
Ya pili ningependa kujulisha wakaaji wetu wa Mombasa. Tafadhali tufuate maagizo. Ukiona watu wao wote wamejitolea kusaidia ni kwa minajili ya afya yako na afya ya kila mtu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba kwamba mfuate maagizo ambayo yanatolewa. Ikisemekana ni saa ya kafiu, kafiu saa moja ianze. Kuna sehemu ambayo tumeona kafiu inalegea kidogo. Na tutajaribu kukasa hiyo kamba. Moja wepo ni likoni. Hiyo ni moja wa sehemu ambazo tumeona baada ya saa moja kuna baadhi ya watu ambao bado wako nje. Tunaomba kwamba tafadhali msingojee mambo ya enforcement. Mwenyewe tu uone ikifika saa moja kujifungie pale nyumbani. Ya pili katika feri tuna, tumefaulu kwa mambo ya distancing. Lakini bado katika zile sehemu ya kusubiri bado watu wanafinyana. Na hapo ndio tungeomba hata zaidi kwamba tafadhali tufuate maagizo ili tuweze kuwa safe kwa haya mambo yote. Musiwe ni watu ambao ni watu wa kusukumwa kila wakati. Sio nia ya serikali kusukuma watu. Tunaomba kwamba tafadhali tutii hayo maagizo na tutumie zile viombo ambazo tumepewa. Moja wepo ikiwa ni hii. Ingine ni mambo ya kunawa mikono na kufunika mdomo na mapua. Tukifuata hayo maagizo hii ugonjwa ya COVID-19 tutaifungia mbali lakini tusipofuata tutakuwa na shida kubwa sana na ukweli ni kwamba hapa Mombasa kuna watu wamepoteza maisha yao kwa COVID-19 nafikiri mmesoma kwa vyombo vya habari na umeenea na lazima tuisimamishe kwa hivyo kwa pamoja tushirikiane ili tuweze kuzuia kusambaa kwa hii ugonjwa ya coronavirus asanteni ile ile kitu ambaye mimi ningeomba watu walikoni tafadhalini tufate sheria ambazo zimewekwa tafadhalini tu sana hii sheria haikuwekewa polisi ama watu wengine imewekewa sisi wenyewe kwa usalama wetu so please naomba tafadhalini tufateni sheria msitoke nje usiku mwenda kutafuta nini usiku Motoka nje kutafuta nyinyi kama mna mabibi kaeni nao huko ndani ya nyumba. Na mabibi kama mna bwana kaeni huko hii ni time ya kutengeza watoto sio kuzunguka. Sisi tumekubaliana. Tumekubaliana. There'll be a difference. Sio kwamba tusikie tena watu wa watoki wanatoka anga usiku, sivyo? Otherwise the same ya Sante Suleiman kwa ushirikiano na msaada na tutaendelea kuendelea kuzungumza tuangalie tutaboresha hali zetu namna gani vile vile ningependa kumshukuru mheshimiwa Mishi Mheshimiwa Mishi leo ametoa shilingi 1500 katika mchango wetu wa chakula Na mshukuru mheshimiwa Senator amekuja leo as a Rotarian ameletea tanki za maji 300 kuendelea tupeleke katika mashinani Ni shukuru Abdul Sama Sharif Nasser yeye amenipatia barua ya kwamba amemwamuru clerk wa National Assembly mshahara wake kamili uja katika mchango wa chakula wa watu wa Mombasa. Nashukuru sana kwamba watu wote wamekuja kama kuwa kitu kimoja. This time wakati huu hakuna affiliations, hakuna boundaries, hakuna msimamo wa kisiasa ama wa kinamna ile. This is about humanity, my friend. Huu ni wakati wa ubinadamu. So we must all understand this is not the time kwamba kuangalia mimi simpendi fulani simtaki fulani. This is the time. Let me make it clear this is the time where humanity checks in. And I can tell you humanity knows no boundaries my friend. So my humble appeal I want to urge all of you to stand up to be counted. There can never be a better moment. This is your time. And at whatever level, hata kama wewe you can contribute half a kilo of salt, so be it. Yes. So be it. This is your time where you need to ask yourself wakati unakula, does your neighbor have food on the table? You know? This is the time. This is the time. Mwenyezi Mungu ametuchagua sisi. 
wakati huu mzito kwa sababu ndani ya nyoyo zetu tuna uwezo wa kusaidiana so all i ask of you each one of you as you go home today ask yourself ni nini nilichofanya kuchangia katika vita dhidi ya covid 19 Usilale usingizi leo bila kujiuliza and i can tell you you can contribute in very very many different ways if you don't have money you can contribute in an idea you can contribute in a, in thoughts unaweza hata kusensitize unaweza hata kumwambia mwenzako tafadhali observe social distance unaweza kumwambia mwenzako this thing is reality take care of your family take care of the people you love do it for the people that love you tuju kama tuko pamoja so don't tell me that wewe sio tajiri uwezi kuchangia wewe sio mwerevu uwezi kuchangia mimi i want to see i want to see people in mombasa wanazofanya watu wengi wanafanya recording the social media i want to hear so many voices saying that we need to stay at home we need to stay safe we need to help one another This is your moment. This is your moment. Don't ask others what we do for you. Don't ask the government what it does for you. You ask yourself what it is that you are doing for the larger population of our country. Swali langu ni hiyo. Ujiulize mimi nafanyia nini kuchangia inchi yangu. I have seen so many people, some people wanasema tu kwamba wewe tunafikiri ni vitisho this is reality and i have also had people asking the government 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 has stood up government has stepped in what have you done so my humble appeal to all of you as you go home tonight before you go to bed or before you retire to bed ask yourself the question is ni nini mimi mwenyewe binafsi nimechangia katika vita dhidi ya covid 19 and if we take that approach i can tell you within no time we shall be announcing success tuko kama tuko pamoja eh don't ask me shi peke yake hata wewe jiulize don't ask your senator suleiman and myself hata wewe ufanye nini ujiulize tumekubaliana eh yeah. Mimi sinataki kusema sana kwa sababu hii mambo mimi naona ni makubwa. Na naomba Mwenyezi Mungu atupatie mafanikio. Mwenyezi Mungu ayafanye mepesi. Atufungulie njia. Mwenyezi Mungu atupatie tiba. Mwenyezi Mungu atufanyie mambo haya tufaulu. Atupe mapenzi, atupe umoja, tubebane, tusaidianeni, tusameheaneni tupendaneni Mwenyezi Mungu ibariki Kenya yetu asanteni sana Governor Governor So we will go back and then we will go to look at the thermal camera